Hey, what's up? Kalen and Honey here. And uh, in this video, I want to talk about renegotiating your salary. Now, I'm going to do something that's possibly not advisable, which is I'm going to try to record this video with Honey here on my lap. Um, but she's a puppy and uh, she's she likes to play bite a lot. So this, this may or may not go very well. But um, I had somebody ask me recently about salary negotiation stuff. And so I want to share a few thoughts on that. Um, you know, obviously there are things like if you Google, you know, salary stuff, you'll find the salary websites like Glassdoor and those other sites that'll show you different averages. Um, and, uh, I find those to be pretty helpful actually, uh, usually can't get, I don't think you can get too much on like Magento specific stuff, but like if you look for like PHP developer, you know, they have good amount of data around that. Um, and I think that, uh, whatever a PHP developer is making, the uh, Magento salaries are probably a bit higher than that. Maybe, I don't know, 10, 20, 30% higher, uh, you know, for like a solid senior Magento developer kind of a thing. Um, <clears throat> so that's one thing. I think also um, at the end of the day, you know, there's a few things like, like at the end of the day, um, there's, there's no better, uh, like method of renegotiating your salary. So the word better I might not be the right word. There's no more effective way than having another offer, right? If anything other than, why are you whining? Don't whine. We got to get through this video. Um, if you have another offer, that's a very concrete way of them knowing, Hey, this is somebody else in the market willing to pay X. And it also makes it very real for them of like, you know, hey, we don't want to lose this employee or maybe or maybe they or maybe, you know, at that point they have a decision to make. So it's like, well, you know, we can't really justify that. So go ahead, take the other job. Good luck. Um, but that's definitely the most clear and direct way. Other than that, you know, you're kind of piecing things together, kind of kind of putting together a story, telling a story of why you want to earn more, looking at market rates, looking at what you've done, looking at accomplishments you've you've had. Um, looking at ways that you've helped to drive revenue for the company over the past year or whatever, things like that. Um, you could also talk about, you know, some companies are trying to do more transparency in, in salaries among all their employees. So that's something you could look at, but, you know, that's going to be difficult. Don't whine. You're making everybody feel so bad. Why are you whining? Let's just finish this video. So um, those are some things. Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Those are some things to to and, and now you don't want to be like mercenary about it like you know if you're ha happy at the company like I'm gonna go get another offer from another company um, just you know it, it feels like it could feel a little bit mercenary to go that route on the one hand but on the other hand you know the way to think about it is like as an employee you have like a one to many relation you have a there's a well, you have a one-to-one -one relationship with your employer, right? You only have one employer. You don't have multiple people telling you this is what I'd pay you. As the employer, they have a one-to-many relationship, right? Because they have multiple employees and they're and they're generally always looking at new employees. So they're always getting more, you know, information about the market. And you're generally not getting that much information, especially, you know, there's kind of a taboo around sharing salaries and stuff like that. So you're kind of at an informational disadvantage in that way. Um, and it's not that, you know, you have, you want to be adversarial with your company or anything like that, but I think it's just, you know, sort of fair to, to have, you know, as much information as, as possible. Right. So that's, that's one note there. Uh, and again, it just, it, it has to be said anytime talking about salary or money is that money isn't everything. Money's not, you know, having had less money and more money at different times, it definitely doesn't doesn't make you happy. So, you know, you may just want to say, Hey, look, you know, like I'll get the standard, you know, whatever the standard bump is and I'm really happy here and that's great. And that's, that's also a great approach. Like you don't always have to be just totally, uh, you know, just trying to maximize earnings. If you, if you are looking to do so, then you might want to take some of those more direct approaches. Um, and Oh, also another thing too, is if you have a really specific, reason for the need for the raise. Like I remember one point when I had another kid and I, and I told my boss, like, I just had another kid. I need a raise. Um, that's also another really straightforward way because they're going to understand it. You know, like at the end of the day, it's a, it's sort of a psychological thing in the mind of the employer. Like there's some numbers, there's some data on things, they've got their budgets, but then at the end of the day, it's kind of like, well, does this make sense? Can I afford to do this? You know, did, you know, but it's like, oh, they just had a kid or they just had X, Y, and Z. They need this. Yeah, let's just make it work, you know. So 
Uh, um, so if you have a specific situation like that, I think it'd be great to just, just say it, just let them know straight up, you know, about the issue and, and that, that could work out as well. Um, you're biting a lot. So those are some thoughts on salary negotiation, renegotiation. I hope that helps. If you have any questions for me or for honey, because this isn't just a one man show anymore. This is a one man and a one lady pooch show. Let us know. Post them up in the comments, and we'd love to hear you from you. <laughs> Thanks for watching.